Good morning, folks. My name is Dean Jones. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Uh, this morning, I'm going to go over this very, very nice trade that we just got in. It's a two, 2019 Airstream Classic 30 RBT. T being the twin bed model I'm going to show you here. There's a lot to go over. It's a great coach. It's almost mint condition. I mean, we went it through the shop and there's just nothing wrong with this guy. So um, we'll just get started. But first and foremost, like always, I'm just going to go over some dimensions. This is a 33 foot, three inch coach front to back. Um, it's width is eight foot, five inches. Its height is nine, nine foot, eight inches. And the interior height here is at the tallest is six foot, seven inches. We got a dry weight of 77, 88 pounds. Payload of, it says uh, 20, 2212. Um, payload to so your GBW is a total of 10,000 pounds. Um, it sleeps five. It's got a fresh water tank of 54 gallons, a uh, gray water tank of 37. It's got a black tank of 39. We've got a six gallon water heater and 80 gallons of propane as we'll show you in there in a minute. Um, your AC, your AC BTUs combined is 28,500. Um, and from it's also got 270 watts of solar on the roof. So we'll head in the back. We're gonna work our way out of the coach and then we'll show you the outside. But it's a little bit you know small in here. So uh, we're just gonna have to kind of go front to or back to front. So coming back here, You see, we've got the twin bed set up. That's the T and the RBT, um, rear bed twin. So uh, this one's fi finished with the maple woodwork. It's the lighter of the two. There's a dark cherry that's offered in this guy, but this one happens to be outfitted with maple. We do have a ducted AC, uh, two different ACs up here, and they're ducted. We've got these really cool adjustable, you can shut them all the way off. You can direct the air. If, it, if, if this guy's um, wanting more air and this one's not, you can definitely um, accommodate that. You have full LED lighting throughout the whole camper. Um, you've also got um, really easy to access buttons. So if you look up here, everything is kind of, you can control the whole camper right here with this panel, just like you can at the door. Um, but uh, you, and everyone, every space is going to have their own little instrument cluster. So you, that's going to be kind of regional to that area. Um, very cool. Airstreams, they have a really dynamic heating system. There's a radiate heating that goes all the way around the coach. And as you see here, you got a couple of pillow side uh, vents that's gonna put heat up here. You also have heat coming up to this little gap here. So this is gonna have heat going all around the, out, the inside of the outside wall around this whole coach. It's a really neat, efficient system. Um, a lot different than your, your, you know, your just furnaces and what have you. It's, a, it's kind of a radiate heat boiler kind of system. Uh, that being said, you, on all Airstreams, you do get on these classics, you get a day shade and you get a night shade and you also get an articulating TV back here. And you can kind of move that for anybody you want to see there. We'll show you some of the storage in this guy. We've got overhead and look at the hardware on these guys. I mean, that's really going to last you a long, long time. You've got storage there. You also have speakers here, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit. But you've got uh, you've got um, Polk audio speakers here, here. Um, you've got a lot more storage overhead here and here. Little access panels to access your speakers if you need to. A little more storage for this side of the room. Then you've got the nice little cabinet there that could also double as a wardrobe on either side. Just pop these out and you've got your hanger there. I don't know if you can see that. You do have your exit here. This is a push out window. And as we're backing up, you do have drawer space under here. Notice the floor lighting, that makes it easy to get through here at night. And you do have outlets on both sides with a nice little nightstand. Nice solid surface countertop there for your, your books or what have you. There's your radiant heat. You can actually take a shot of that. That's kind of what's going around the whole coach. It's really neat. Of course, all these windows louver up. You can uh, get a lot of air 
breeze through here. And then you do have night shades on these, these curved windows that really make it nice. So coming out of the bedroom, we're gonna focus on the bathroom. With that heating system, Airstream does a couple of really neat things. I don't know if you can see this towel bar in there, but that's a heated towel bar. The, the heating element goes through that towel bar. Make sure your towels are nice and warm when you get out of the shower, which by the way has a heated floor. You do have your light buttons, nice, nice little vanity, deep sink, huge mirror, foot flush toilet, and this is your medicine cabinet. Probably needs to be dusted out, but since you have this bigger mirror, you don't have it opening, so that's where they put the, the cabinet. You've got a little bit more storage down there. And then you've got some more storage. I'll open this up for you. Right there's a hamper, which is really nice. They've thought of everything. So a little bit more storage in there. I don't know if you can catch a look at that. Up top, we do have a little fan up here that exhausts anything in here. It's a power fan, but it's a little guy. And you also have one in the shower too, which I'll show you here. Nice size insert for a smaller camp, or for, you know, the space that we have it in. Does have a seat, has a towel bar on that side, fully adjustable shower head. And again, this is a heated floor. And you do have the little vent up there to exhaust some of the steam if you wanna get rid of some of that. So. Uh, one more thing I'll point out back here. We do have a privacy curtain. So if you have guests here, they're gonna use the bathroom and you wanna just go to sleep and have some privacy, you can definitely do it that way. Or, let me shut this guy. Oh, there's also a full length mirror on the inside of that door that's really nice. Where's the other one at? Oh, yeah, here it is. Or you can pop this one up and shut this off if you want to use it. It's kind of like a master suite. You do have skylights that you can definitely black out if you like, but that offers a lot more light in the room. What's kind of neat about this coach too, I thought it was really interesting. You do have a little spice rack here. So for those of you that like to cook, keep your spices right here. They're not going to fall out. They've actually made use of that little space there quite, quite nicely. And he's got little lock buttons on them. Here's your pantry. And these are fully adjustable. So if you have taller stuff, shorter stuff, you can move these racks around as you see fit. So that's kind of a nice feature as well. Now right here, we've got this really nice cedar line closet. And everything lights up when you open up. So you open these doors, you see this little light up here, it comes on magically, which is really nice. You also have a nice little safe here. So when you're traveling with valuables, watches, what have you, you can throw it in there. And I missed it three times, so it's a pretty incognito safe. But that's a nice double wardrobe there. And under here I have these already removed, but these guys are just the little electrical panels. So um, you do have inverters, stuff like that. Um, but this is also your, your breaker box. So you see you have your 110 there. That's going to power your 110 things. And you also have a fuse panel for your 12 volt systems. What's nice about this setup is if one of these fuses blow, you're going to see a little red light next to the fuse that you need to change. You're not going to be pulling 20 fuses out to find the one that's giving you the problem. Um, there's also a nice little diagram of what's what right there. So that's a nice place for it. It's really out of the way. But again, uh, real good use of space there. Um, you do have these nice drawers here. Again, perfect use of just space. This is a RV fridge, so it's gonna run on propane and it's gonna run on uh, electricity and it's got a nice cube foot. I mean, it's a nice big, I think it's one of their bigger refrigerators they use in these, co these campers, but as you see, there's plenty of storage there to kind of stock up for your vacation there. So coming out, there's a couple options on these classics I'm, I'm learning. Um, you can either get it with a stove and a, and, a, and a cooktop, or you can get it with a stove and a, and a microwave. I think you can probably get all three, but they're generally one or the other. This one's been opted to have a convection microwave. You do have a three, three top burner, propane. You have a nice little, uh, this thing's kind of out of the way. It's not real deep, but it kind of gives you a lot of, you know, eye of sight with what you're doing. Nice stainless steel backsplash. Really easy to clean. Nice little light there. This is the only shade that's gonna be a little different and it's gonna just be a standard vinyl type of roller so it's a little easier to clean. 
Again, solid surface countertops. Um, beautiful big sink too. Look how big that sink is. And this one does have the sprayer, so when you want to clean it out, it is a Kohler sink, so they're using quality materials in this coach. You do have a place for a, a trash can. You also have really cool, uh, so you've got, this is nice for, you've got nice little drawers in here for silverware, what have you. And you got a little storage there for your waste basket. Nice big pot, pot and pan drawer. And you've got little storage down there. Got this guy here. And then there's some remotes there. Again, these things, when you open them up, they are backlit. So you're not going to be searching for stuff in the dark in your cabinetry here. There's another overhead. Again, all your uh, AC ducts are fully adjustable and closable. Um, up here you've got a, your DVD player, some electronics. This one's been outfitted with a really nice uh, backup camera and this is the this is the, the little monitor you put on your windshield if you, if you were to want to put it on your truck windshield and see what's going on behind you. This is a little 30 amp um, adapter. If you want to just plug it into 30 amp, you got some information on your camper here. Coming over here, this is kind of important. So this is the, the brain, it's called a C-Zone. What's really nice about this is you can download an app and run this whole thing from your phone. Uh, but you do have all kinds of different features. I don't know if you can see there. You can run the whole camper from right here and from your phone. So there's that. This is your Polk audio system. You do have a little panel like this back there to run it. But it's a beautiful sound system and it just rocks this thing. Here, this is your hot water and your heat. That's, that curtain heat that we talked about, this runs it, and I've been told that the water just comes on so hot so fast. It's one of the best um, hot water systems that one of my techs was talking about he's ever seen. So they really do it right. One more thing they do that's really bizarre is, um, not bizarre but nice, um, is that Airstream has a deal with AT&T that has their own Wi-Fi. So what happens there is you've got, I think it's a dollar a day, like 360 a year. But if you set up with that stream, it's unlimited data and it's not throttled down. So it's a complete unlimited data. As long as you have AT&T system, you've got full Wi-Fi in this guy. So that's something I've never heard of. So that's a really cool feature. That, but you'd have to go through Airstream and AT&T on that one. But it is got the modem in here for that. Uh, moving on, we do have, oh, we are showed that. This is another solid surface table. This does make a bed. You hit this switch and this thing telescopes down. You can also move it. So this is a nice height for eating but it might not be the, not the right height for typing. So let's say you have a laptop, you're gonna do some work, shoot some emails. You can lower this down about five inches and then it's perfect height there. This is all villa furniture. It's all sp spring cushions. Um, you do have some cushions to fill this area in when you wanna make it a bed. So that's a really dynamic booth, I like it a lot. Um, again, we're gonna have full louver windows. We're gonna have day and night shades all throughout the coach. Um, another skylight. This is a nice, fantastic fan if you really want to get the hot air out before you cool it. And they have these really cool little side windows here, but kind of bright, so we're going to leave that up. Um, nice couch. It does have a little tray to serve on, or you can make it a couch. It doesn't make a bed, but it does have really nice power. And you also have a USB here if you want to put your phone in there. So it's a really neat, nice, comfortable couch. Um, the other Airstreams, I understand there's more of a bench here with cushions on it. So the Classic really has a, a purpose-made couch that's just custom-made for the front end of this camper. It's a beautiful system. You also, I don't know if you can see this, but there's more vents back here. And that's going to give that curtain heat room to get out and really warm this coach if you're camping in the fall or early spring. Here's another shot of one of those radiating heaters. Uh, you do have a GFI on. That's actually on. Works good. We do have a little counter extender that makes it a little, little more counter space for you. Um, you do have a magazine rack. We do have key hooks or coat hooks here if you like. 
whatever you want to use them for. Um, and here's another panel here. This is a, this kind of monitors your solar system. Again, 270 watts of solar on this guy. You can check it right here. And you can power your awning. Um, you can shut the whole coach off right here. Here's some light buttons. And this kind of runs the coach a lot like the back bedroom one does. But if you notice over here, there's a little guy that kind of just takes care of the area that you're sitting in. So if you just want to turn on some lights or what have you. So that's kind of what that's all about. We do have more storage up here. That's that uh that's that modem we talked about. So that's it's made by Pep Wave Max. And this is what keeps you in that Airstream uh ATT uh data unlimited data deal. So we got more storage up there, more speakers on the side, nice accent lighting. Um, that's about it on the inside of this coach. Uh, we'll go on the outside and we'll see what's going on out there. So we'll start here at the door. You have a nice little easy fold away step that just pops in there, locks in these little guys. It's not hard at all to, to maneuver. You just pull it down, lock it in, and it's real stable. Um, you do have a nice little grab handle. This color is blue. I guess it's a classic thing. You do have a doorbell. So when you're at the campground, people want to see your camper, they're going to let you know right there. Um, nice solid door with a nice latch here so you can leave it open. You can uh, keep your screen door shut. It's contoured to the camper so it fits in real nice. Nice industrial latches with a deadbolt, all riveted construction. Beautiful awning on this guy. And they're matching window treatments on the back, and we'll get in, we'll show you that in a minute. But you also have this little. All the doors on this guy are stainless, and that's not true of all the Airstreams. But this classic, they went up and beyond. These are all stainless steel doors. You've got front and back stabilizer jacks. I don't know if you can get a. a uh, picture of that one coming up and down. It's just a scissor jack. You don't have to go out there and crank anything. It's just a real nice, easy system. You, you get to your campground, you unhook, you push those two buttons and you're ready to go. You do have a nice LED light night light. There is an LED strip going around here that we don't have turned on, but that'll light underneath of the awning as well. Got a nice GFCI out here. If you want to put anything out here, a radio or something. But here's your oven. It's, it's your vent for your oven. So when you want to cook, it is stainless steel too. So that's not going to get brittle over time and crack out. Real like timeless products they're using on this guy. 16 inch Michelin tires on aluminum rims. It is a tandem. Coming back here, we do have a little storage right there get in there and check that out. It is heated. You just turn these guys, pop them down, and they're closed and locked. And yeah, I do have keys to lock them. There's a little more storage for tools. Not a big storage thing, but it's nice they made use of it. There might be some you know, little tools you want in there, or, you know, pieces to your uh, your drainage hoses or what have you. There's that camera that we showed you the 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 monitor to. You do have a nice little. I left this one out so I can demonstrate it. Little catches right here. It's a little bright in the bedroom. You could definitely put that up. Nice little awning there. Uh, you do have, back here you have storage. And not only do you have the storage here, you've also got a little basement. There's a panel that, that fits in there and it closes this off so you have two, like a basement in your storage inside your storage. That's kind of, you do have some uh, tools to get the awnings out. You do have your jacks, stuff to get your tires out. Again, just 
turn them and flip. You also have, a lot of people use this for, for more tools or their hoses. Up around here, you see that there's this same material as you're on, everything matches all the way around. What's really nice, what Airstream does, is they put these aluminum, they, they cover the actual fabric. So when you see, when you don't have these, your top three or four inches are always exposed to the elements. They get real eaten away and you usually can see right through them and then water comes through. What they've done is they've made this, this, in this case right here with aluminum that kind of wraps up all that, that fabric when they're, here I'll show you. You can kind of see how those little covers work if you have it. So there's no elements exposed to that fabric, which I really like. More storage here. The old owner was kind enough to leave us some antifreeze. Super clean. I don't see a hail ding on this camper. So it's, if you're in the market for a classic, this shows like a brand new one. Uh, down here, you've got your city water connection and you got your black tank flush and a low point drain and a little bit more storage here if you need it. Right here, you've got this is where you hook up your drain. You do have your gate valve for your, your wash tank and your black tank. Uh, it is lit. You can turn this on and you have light down here if you're emptying it after dark. This is where you'd fill your holding tank. Another stainless steel door. We've got the back of your refrigerator, easy to access. But look how clean that install is. It's just they do everything so super clean at Airstream. It's, it's, it's quite impressive. Um, the smart plug with Airstream, it's definitely proprietary. I don't know if you can get a look at that. Specific to Airstream campers, so you're gonna have to get used to that if you're gonna be an Airstream owner. Um, we do have a really nice outdoor shower. And then you also have your cable hookup. So if you're at that park and they might have satellite, they might have cable, either way, you're, you're, this is where you put it in. And this is your, your Aldi uh, heating and uh, hot water system. So that's that. You do have more hose storage here for a sewer hose. Airstream does something a little different. They've got 40 pound bottles for your propane. They have gauges on them, as you can see. So you always know what they are. They're aluminum, they're never gonna rust out. You do have to get them filled. You're not gonna swap them. These are just too nice, but they're just huge. You're gonna fill them probably once a season. Just real industrial hardware on this guy. Just a beautiful way to, to actually, you know, store your propane. You do have a power tongue jack. It does have a light. It also power up and down. Um, this one came with a Hensley hitch. Uh, that's this right here. And it's a really dynamic hitch. I think we still have it. Um, and this guy op opted to have a lithium battery upgrade put on. Actually, come around that side. I'll show you something over here. So. 200 amp lithium life pro batteries real big batteries you do have a switch right here over there you have another little solar plug if you want to put an additional one in um, you do like i said have 270 uh watts up on the top real nice install up there um, but again if you want to put another little suitcase one out here it plugs in right there and then on this side there's a propane stub out with the gate valve i don't know if you can catch that but a little so if you wanted to put a grill out there you can run a hose from right here plug in and you've got access to uh anything you want to put on that solar that propane system 
The stock number on this coach is 5U211082. Um, you can call me with any questions. This is a nice little deal here. They just got all kinds of window treatments and really neat little ways to enjoy this guy. And that's it for the 30 RBT. Uh, my name is Dean Jones. If you want to get a hold of me, ask me any questions, pricing, anything like that, uh, or come down and see it, um, you can reach me direct at 303-684-3424 or at my cell at 720-347-7063. Or you can always get me at dean.jones at transwest.com. Thanks for touring the Airstream with me and have a nice day.